Estill County leaders promised their community they'll find out why naturally occurring radioactive waste was dumped in a landfill. What else they're doing to calm fears. A traffic alert for people heading south tonight. Why all lanes of Interstate 75 have been shut down in Tennessee just across the Kentucky state line. And how a former UK football player now playing in the NFL is helping a Lexington woman battle cancer. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening. The weekend is here, and it looks like some milder weather will be moving into the bluegrass. We could even have an early taste of spring. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey joins us now with your no wait weather forecast. Hi, guys. That early taste of spring just rolls right off your tongue on a Friday evening. Welcome to the weekend. Current temperatures generally into the low and mid 30s. Most of central and eastern Kentucky cloud cover from earlier going by the wayside, taking those snowflakes on out of the bluegrass state as well. Broaden out the view a little bit. One more little batch of some high clouds to go through tonight. But look what is coming in. Our weather is coming from the southwest, and there isn't much out there to the west or south of Kentucky. That's much better weather that rolls into town as we go into our Saturday and our Sunday. Chilly start to the day. We make up for it into the afternoon as temperatures hit the low. 50s across all of central and eastern Kentucky. That'll be a good looking afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds early, then mostly sunny skies coming your way during the heart of the afternoon. Focus of the forecast when I come back at 11 11 will be on how February is going to be ending on a nice note. But guys, we look ahead toward early March as well. We'll let you know if it roars in like a lion or prances in like a lamb. That's in a few minutes. Chris, thank you. Now to a developing story that we're following for you in Tennessee tonight. Police and highway crews have shut down Interstate 75 just south of the Kentucky state line. Police say a rock slide this afternoon closed the northbound lanes near exit 141 in Campbell County. That's between Jellico and La Follette. Tonight, police also closed the southbound lanes in the same area as a precaution. Southbound traffic must exit at Jellico, then follow US 25 West or another route down to exit 141. Highway leaders say it could take two or three weeks to clean up this rock slide in the northbound lanes. And that will be a mess for you sure. You can only imagine. Well, they are furious and say they are determined to find answers for their community. Tonight, Estill County leaders say they're launching their own investigation into why low-level, naturally occurring radioactive waste ended up in a landfill. That waste, which was from out of state, was dumped illegally. This afternoon, Estill County's judge executive announced a plan of action. Garrett Weimer has our top story at 11. County leaders want to know how the landfill got that material and who's responsible. But first, they want to make sure it's safe, especially with two schools right across the road. We want to get to the bottom of it, but good, bad, or ugly. We want to know the facts. We're making every effort to make sure that our schools uh, are safe for our kids to attend uh, and, our, and for our staff uh, that are there. Uh, as well. The judge executive says it'll cost about $10,000 for a company they've hired to come out to the landfill and the schools here on Sunday to test for radiation and check the area's water. He says they'll make the landfill pay for that. Taylor says the state's issuing a violation notice to the landfill on Tuesday with possible fines to follow. He says the county wants to tighten restrictions to better monitor what goes in the landfill. I mean, I think one time they thought Jimmy Hoffa was buried out there. <laughs> I'm serious. And uh, there's no telling what's in it because, and that's the reason we want to look and try to focus toward uh, trying to come up with some equipment to make the landfill purchase that examines every truck that comes in there, every vehicle that can scan it like an x ray. Taylor says he also wants to know why the state never told the county that they were investigating. In Estill County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Estill County leaders have scheduled a public forum to answer questions from the community. It is at 6 o'clock Tuesday night at Estill County High School. New tonight, we have learned Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump will be spending part of Super Tuesday in Kentucky. The GOP frontrunner is planning an event Tuesday afternoon at the Kentucky International Convention Center in Louisville, and it will be open to the public. A dozen states will hold primary elections on Tuesday, but Kentucky is not one of them. The Kentucky Republican Caucus is a week from tomorrow. And another Republican presidential candidate is coming to Lexington on Monday. Ben Carson will attend a We the People town hall meeting at the Lexington Hit Center on Ruscio Way. 
The event runs from 10 to 11 Monday morning. It's also open to the public. New tonight, Lexington police have arrested a man they say attacked a good Samaritan who tried to help him. Police say the woman was driving down Richmond Road near New Circle when she saw a man on the side of the road grabbing his chest and falling to the ground. She pulled over to help, but police say the man started attacking her. Someone else driving by called 911. Police say they think the man was on drugs. He's been charged with resisting arrest and public intoxication. They say the victim wasn't seriously injured. Police say she didn't want to press charges because she thought the man was mentally ill. New tonight, state police are investigating an officer involved shooting in Bullock County. It happened late this afternoon in Shepherdsville near some apartment buildings. Shepherdsville police say they were called to the area for reports of a man firing shots. When they arrived, they say the man fired at them, so they fired back, hitting him. Police say he was taken to a Louisville hospital, but his condition isn't known. No officers were injured. He now plays in the NFL, but a former UK football player was back in the bluegrass tonight to give back to the community. While Avery Williamson signed autographs, his visit had a special meeting for a Lexington woman battling cancer. Monique Blair has the story new at 11. For 10 years, Sarah Lister has dedicated herself to helping others as the executive director of Lexington's Ronald McDonald House. But on January 5th, Sarah received some news. That changed her life. They called at 7 o'clock at night and um, told me that I had acute myeloid leukemia. Because Sarah has a very weak immune system, she has only seen her three and eight year old sons a total of five days since her diagnosis. A diagnosis that is hard to explain to them, especially her eight year old. He has lost other family members to cancer, so he doesn't know. That cancer is survivable. So I'm here to prove to him it is. And so on Friday, a complete stranger came to Lexington to help Sarah in her fight to beat the cancer. Former UK football player and now Tennessee Titan Avery Williamson signed autographs and collected donations, all of which will go to Sarah. I've heard such great things about this lady, how much she's done for, uh, for cancer patients and, you know, the Ronald McDonald House. And it's really awesome, you know, to see people come up to you and, and just thank you for, uh, for helping her out. And although she couldn't make it to the signing, awesome. Sarah's two boys did, proudly representing their mom. We would like to give you this team share shirt. Well, thank you. thank you very much. Sarah's friends and family tell me she is simply the type of person that people want to help. I mean, you could go up there right now, and no matter how bad she's feeling, she's going to know what you want to know what you did today or how you're doing. It's not about her. But tonight, it was about her. I'm going to pay this back one day. I really am. So uh, watch out, Lexington, because I'm coming back to help a lot more people one day. <laughs> Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. And we know she will. She is a great lady for sure. Sarah Lister needs a bone marrow transplant. The money raised tonight will help pay for her medical expenses. New tonight, the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green wants to add something new for its visitors. The museum is planning a car preservation section to show visitors how Corvettes are cared for as they get older. Visitors mm -hmm. will see work in progress and be able to ask questions of people working on cars. Renovations will be needed to make the new section happen. The museum hopes to raise $100,000 for it.